Hey everyone, it's Ted from Tap and Sack. How's everybody doing? Today we're going to do another draft thing for Dummies video. And this time, instead of quick draft, we're going to our very first premier draft in the Forgotten Realm set. So, premier draft is a format that is more expensive and it's also on a timer. So, players who are not that familiar with the drafting process or the set might find it more difficult. And with, I've not had much practice with Premier, Premier Draft, but I thought this would be a good chance to get into it since we have a few tokens that we can redeem. Well, speaking of redemption, we also have a few uh, arena codes that we want to give out to you guys. Um, so if you want a few codes that can get you six packs on arena, just hit that subscribe button and leave a comment in the video. And in a week's time, we'll do a raffle. Um, make sure you all Profile is public so that we can see your name when you subscribe as well. Okay, so we'll go into the Premier Draft event. As you can see, there's you get you can go up to seven wins, just the same as Quick Draft, and you play until you get three losses. The cost is higher at ten thousand gold and or one one thousand five hundred gems. So. This is a new season, so we're back in bronze, and we, since we have token entry, we're going to go in by the token. Okay, so this is a timer. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to talk too much about all the cards. I'll just try and pick out a few of my shortlists and why I want to pick them. Uh, I do have some ideas of where I want to go, but hopefully, we get some good rares or mythics that can help dictate our direction. And also the difference with Premier Draft is that you can see what players are passing or what colors players are passing to you. So if you see that you get uh, strong cards from a certain color, means that color might be available for you for that draft. Okay, so our very first rare is Drizzt. Oh, it's a very strong card. 3-3 uh, tree, tree of double strike and create a cat token. So this is very strong. Uh, we have a black dragon in uncommon, also a good black card to get. Lightfoot Rogue, this card makes use of roll dice synergies and can gain death touch all, all the time and defense of power. So my first choice is probably still Drizzt because it is quite a big creature, it's iconic. Ah uh, yes, double strike. Green white is also a color pair that uh, can be played. I think if you get uh, some good life gain synergies. As for other cards here, luckily nothing much that stands out. Zombie ogre is pretty good. So I'm just gonna pick Drizzt. Okay, I'll pack two. Um, what do we have? We have still a rare, which is Treasure Vault. A land that can create treasure tokens. We have Sentry, Apprentice, Trickster, the three uncommons, Price of Royalty, Direwolf Prowler. So in terms of green white, nothing that great. Fireball's okay. But maybe I just want to pick the rare or I can try to go with Apprentice. This card has a good venture in the dungeon synergy. And when you complete the dungeon, you can make a creature a bird. So far, Price of Loyalty goes well with Red Black. Uh, treasure decks and Sacrifice decks, but we haven't seen any yet, so I might just take the rare, I'm not sure. We don't have any really good green-white cards that we want. Okay, what do we have here? We have... Ingenious Smith. This is a card that synergizes well with artifacts. White Dragon. Hmm, White Dragon might be good. It's a 6 mana 4 4 flying and you can tap down a creature for one turn. It's not bad. Oh, this is a life gain. This green card is a life gain synergy, so not bad as well. If we can get some green life gain cards, that would be great. Potion of Healing, gain life, not bad. So between the White Dragon and the Roper, I'm thinking what would be good. 
The dragon might be safer as a card that doesn't rely on life gain. But the Rupa will be strong if we get a life gain card. So I'll just pick the dragon first. Ooh, we've got another rare, the Hand of Vagna. So it's equipment and the creature gets plus x plus x for the number of cards in your hand, x is the number of cards in your hand. And you can equip to pay 2 or pay 1 life for each card in your hand. You hear something on the watch, a choice card can deal damage, it's not bad I think. So question is, I want to take the rare or do I want to take you hear something on watch. This is a common so maybe it's not that useful. Polymorph, Stygia, these aren't very great blue cards. Quite a lot of red cards actually, so red might be open. Even this Horde uh, Robber is great too, but I'll pick this. Okay, what do we have? Green, white, I think great, we got Uncommon, Dungeon Crawler, Venture and Dungeon Synergies, blue, red, uh, Dice Rolling Synergy. Not our colors, unfortunately. Paladin shield, more equipment. I don't know if you want to go in the equipment line. But this is, seems okay. Hmm, maybe the Ranger. 4 1 reach for 5 mana. We got lots of expensive stuff. Or you could just go improvise weaponry. Okay, what's this? You meet in a tavern. This is a pump spell or a search spell for 4 mana. Planar ally, 3-3 tree, tree flying, venture in a dungeon when it attacks. Okay. You find a curse idol or great axe. I don't think we're going for any blue cards. So I might just go with this. This is quite flexible because you can create a treasure and venture. The Planar Ally is also pretty interesting. Let's pick the Curse Idol. Bullet, 4 mana for a 3-3. Tree tree. And you can put a plus 1, plus 1 counter. Moonblaze Cleric, 3-2 for 3. Tree. But you can search for enchantments, so we don't really have any important enchantments now. Um, yeah, why not? Let's just put the bullet, I guess. Ooh, Dungeon Descent, another rare. Interesting. For venture, tap to venture, but it costs four, very expensive. Charm Sleep is nice blue card, but we don't, I'm not gonna play blue. So maybe I just rare draft then. Okay, another bullet can put plus one, plus one counters. It can synergize with this, maybe? Yeah, maybe. You happen on a glade. Doesn't seem very interesting. Search for basic lands or return target permanent card. I'm gonna trick that. Hmm, three green cards. Interesting. Oh, okay, I could go with a big creature, the Kill Giant Hit Gorger, or I could just go Compelled Duel as a kind of semi-removal. I'll just go with the Duel. Oh, Potion of Healing. Mm, okay, just hope we get some gain life synergies. Alright, Spike the Trap. Oh, the Shield or the Ranger, okay. Both are in our colors, so I guess the Ranger. This will be our sideboard. Alright, pack 2. Oh nice, you get the goblin. We're not in pack tactics range. This is great. Priest of Ancient Lore. Gain one life, draw a card. It's white. Gargoyle is white, um, but you have to venture into dungeons. Sorcerer class, not our colors and not I think not one of the stronger um, not one of the stronger class cards. 
So Battle Cry Goblin and Black Dragon are great. So there was one Black Dragon in the previous uh, pack, the previous round. But it might be just the ancient lore for us. Can't even think of any other colors that I want to go into now. It's a bit too late to change colors. Okay, for once we can rest and see what is passed on to us. So that's the problem with Premier Draft is that it is really fast paced. I don't really have much time to think through uh, carefully and see what cards are available. Okay, so we got our second pack 2 pick 2. Oh, Dragon's Fire is amazing. Got another rare or we get Druid class which is a land synergy. Mm. Oh, because this is great, Trilasara. So this is the green-white legendary creature that uh, pumps when you gain life and can strike one. So this is amazing for us. And we're also looking for the unicorn, I think it's a common, that also pumps itself with plus one plus one counters as it gains life. Um, haven't seen it yet at all, I think. And yeah, not even in pack one. So normally, maybe I would just take the rare, but I really like this green white Trilasara, which will synergize well, I think. Now we just need other cards that can gain life. Um, not so easy to find, actually. We got another Ranger, which we already have one. We get, can get a Prowler. Longbow, I'm not so interested in. So that's two Maze. I don't know. It's expensive for two and then equip three. So it's going to be a while before you can use it. Otherwise, maybe I'll get the Prowler. I don't think I need another Spike Pit Trap. Unless that's one of the last few picks. Guild Teeth. Interesting. Lots of blue cards available, so maybe people aren't picking blue. Oh, Green Dragon. Hmm. Okay, the, this Dawnbringer Cleric can gain life when he enters the battlefield. This wall shaped choice card, not very good. Green Dragon. Hmm, do I want another big green dragon or do I want Sylvan Shepherd? This is great for us. Maybe if we can wield this to be great or the Dawnblinger Cleric. But I'll get the green dragon first. Ooh. Ooh, someone passed the uh, Mythic Rare, Damage. We've got another uncommon, the same tavern choice card. Ooh, so many blue cards, which means uh, blue is actually quite open. I think blue is not a very popular color in this set for drafting. So that's why you see so many blue cards get pulled, passed over. Compelled duo, we already have one. Zombie reverse, okay. But I think I'll go with Demilich. Ooh. Okay, we've got some white cards. Um, choice card to either pump or return creature. Another choice card to either deal 5 damage to a target attacking creature. And this is the artificer again. You can search the library in your top 4 cards. We don't really have that many artifacts, so maybe we'll go with the you hero something on a watch. The smith would be great if you're doing heavy equipment, I think. Another potion of healing or bull strength, pump spell. This is great with pack tactics because it can become a 4-2. Um, another potion of healing maybe? Or do we need more creatures? Alright, let's try the 2-4 guy. Oh, Lurking Roper is here again. Okay, I think we have to pick this. It's just 3 mana for 4-5. Even if you can't attack with it, you can still block. So it's a very nice blocker. And there's nothing else that's 
very good here. Maybe Spike Pit Trap I can use again as a removal. But we already have one and I think one is good. <laughs> Sorcerer class. Sorcerer class made it back on round back to us since nobody wants it. It's quite funny. So actually I might take it, yeah, I might take it as a free rare card. I think that's the whole point of draft, isn't it? Increase your collection. Druid class, okay. Not sure if we're gonna play it, but we'll try. Oh, another longbow, okay. Oh, nice. Okay, the Sylvan Shepherd made it back to us, which we can gain life. Nice. This, oh, both blue cards, not gonna be important. Oh, leather armor, okay. Alright, last pack. Good card! Ooh, we got a Mythic Rare. Nice. It's Aserirak, the Archlich. This card actually is quite good in Commander. I've seen some decks played around it. And a Potion, Monk of the Open Hand for double spell triggers. Uh, Sentry isn't that good, I think. Well, I think we, I'm just gonna pick the, the Mythic Rare because nothing else is really gonna fit into our deck that well and I just wanna get more cards for my collection as well. So I'm gonna pick the Art Lich, put it in my sideboard. Hmm, another rare. Meteor Swarm. This is actually pretty good if, uh, if I was in red, but I'm not. Uh, the other card that's okay is this, I think. 2 mana for 2-2 two, two lifelink for our deck. But we don't really have much lifelink synergies apart from Trillisara. Still haven't found that um, Unicorn. So maybe I just pick the rare first and just hope something good comes. Dragon's Disciple, 1 tree for 2. Reveal a dragon card from your hand. And it enters with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Dragons you control have ward 1. Uh, we, only have, we have 2 dragons, which is okay, I guess. Um, what else is good? Gretchen, this is nice for blue green. No Hunter is great for pack tactics. But other than that, what else can we do? Maybe this is just a pick. Unless I want to go with another potion. Hmm. <laughs> we got Eye of Vecna, so we will have two of the Vecna artifacts. That'll be quite interesting. Well, it's a rare. I don't mind picking it. Uh, Dawn Bring a Cleric would be good as well. Maze, not so interested in that. Uh, we've already passed lots of improvised weaponry, longbow, dwarf. So maybe Eye of Vecna is the pick. Alright, what do we have? We've got another bullet. Got two of those. We've got Iron Golem, Five Tree Vigilance. Black, red, uh, not cards that we need. Blue. Air Cult Elemental is like a big flying guy. I'm just gonna pick the Iron Golem. Another Iron Golem. Hmm. Oh, Owl Bear. Owl Bear is great. 5 mana for 4 4 trample. I can draw a card. Uh, Herbalist, not so good. Alright, maybe Owl Bear is the best here. Ooh, another rare. Wish. Hmm. Well, do I need more removal? I really feel I'm lacking in removal. Um. Alright, I'm gonna pick the removal card. Ooh, Lurking Roper again. Okay. That's for me. Gain life. 
Ranger's Hawk is for venturing the dungeon. We already have one Moon Druid, okay. I think it's a good blocker. The rest aren't so great. Um, this Ghoul is great in the Red Black Treasure Sacrifice archetype. Um, usually people pick this very quickly if they have Red Black. Another Potion of Healing, or we can go with Sylvan Shepherd. Yeah, Sylvan Shepherd maybe. Blue string, all right. Just a pump spell. Oh, Ranger again. Uh, I don't know if we need one more. I don't think we need two. I'll just take the uncommon. What's two mace or uncommon mace? I guess. And that's uh, going to be the end of our first premier draft for drafting for dummies. This was quite nerve wracking. I pretty much had no time to think through what cards I won. You're, you're almost picking like out of just gut feeling or a snap decision. Okay, so now that we're done with the picking process, we have to build our deck. I have cut down some cards, so I just want to go through the final deck. Well, probably our final deck that we're going to use. So I took out the Hand of Vecna, which is a rare equipment because usually I think in the late game our hands are pretty low on cards, so this isn't going to be very effective. It costs 3 and then you still need to either pay life or pay 2 mana to equip and then it gets the creature gets plus X plus X, so I'm thinking it could be around plus 2 plus 2, maybe sometimes we're lucky plus 3 plus 3, but sometimes it could be plus 1 plus 1 or 0. Uh, especially if you're emptying out your hand, so I think I'll like trying to go fast with smaller creatures and life gain stuff. So I think this would slow us down. Uh, but on the other hand, I kept Eye of Vecna as a card draw engine because since we're going to be gaining life, I assume we can use some of that life uh, to pay and draw a card during our upkeep. So the downside is that you still have to pay two mana. Um, it could be too much. I'm not very sure because I've not experimented with it yet. But hopefully this can help us in the late game by drawing more cards. And we also want to try and make use of Drizzt's triggers. So whenever a creature dies, if you have power greater than Drizzt, then you put that many plus one plus one counters. So since he has three power, then we do have creatures with 4 power like our dragons, the owl bear, and the 2 lurking ropers. So there's pretty good chance to get him to at least power 4. Uh, but beyond 4, yeah that would be hard unless our bullet happens to get up to a 5-5. Five five, or our iron golem dies, which is a 5-3. And we're quite lacking in removal right now, we, so we have kept the uh, two copies of you hear something on a watch as a kind of defense by dealing five damage to an attacking creature. Um, Spike Pit Trap, which would be a kind of a expensive removal. You're essentially paying six mana to remove a creature, deal five damage to a creature. If you're lucky, you get to get back one of that mana through a treasure token. And for life gain synergies, we've only got one copy of Trilasara, quite unfortunate. Even though it's a legendary creature, maybe it would have been good to have two copies or if we had found uh, other copies of the unicorn that gets a plus one plus one whenever you gain life. Surprised we did not see any of it, I think it was picked up by other players. But luckily we do have two copies of the roper which would at least help with a, as a blocker. Um, we have the shepherd that can help us gain life when it attacks and he has vigilance so he can block as well. So essentially our goal is to start off strong with cheap creatures, gain life, palm out creatures, and in the later game, cast Drizzt as well as maybe any of our dragons. We also have the Dragon's Disciple which uh, allows it to come in with a plus one plus one counter if we have a dragon in play or we reveal a dragon. So that's not bad, I think. Possibility of a 2-3 for 2 mana and our dragons will have ward 1 as well. Alright, so not sure how this would go, we'll 
play a couple of games. Hopefully we get some wins. Because I don't really want to waste my token. Okay, up against Rock the Pants. Let's hope we can get our win now. Yeah, for four lands. Trilosara, Bled, and Owl Bear. I think we can keep this. So right now we're lacking in some life gain abilities. <laughs> Eye of Vecna, maybe I should take that out. It hasn't, it hasn't done well for me. Ooh, Genius Smith. So this is a uh, equipment deck. Yep. So I find a curse idol. I can destroy a target artifact. He's not attacking. Actually, this smith can get his buff when you cast artifacts. It's not such a bad thing, actually. Hmm. Now, do I want to destroy it? Or should I just do Eye of Fragment? All right, I'll save the curse idol for if I get a, a bigger. Um, yeah, if there's a bigger equipment to destroy. So should I attack? He's probably gonna buff again, which is not so good. All right, I want to attack. Hmm. Okay, give this gave the smith flying. This is the second time I've seen Pegasus again. So bad. Now we're drawing all our lands. Horrible. Alright, I'm just going to cast the Bullet. We're not going to be able to block the Pegasus next turn. Singer comes something. And another Morning Star. Wow. Might have to take the smith if I want the bullet to grow bigger. Oh, the bullet didn't grow, huh? Oh, beginning of my end step. Okay. Cast a roper and I 
see what else I can do. I could save this or cast it now. Oh, it's a sorcery, so I have to cast it now. Alright. Yep, it's pumping his Pegasus. I really need to gain life, otherwise I'm dead next turn. Right. Yeah, this is not good for me. Yep, quick loss, that's bad. Just can't get any traction, either too few lands or too many lands. Alright, I'm going first with three lands, a pit trap on turn one. So we've lost to a dungeon deck and we've lost to um, equipment deck. Okay, so red black, that's one of the very strong archetypes. Yep. Gonna cast my Rooper first. That's clean. Creates a treasure. And there's the ghoul. Okay. Yep, so next turn he can cast Price of Loyalty and yeah, kill off my... steal one of my guys, I guess. Yep, I don't draw a land as usual. So I'm either casting Roper or Golem. Interesting. Golem would be more efficient, I guess. Or if we cast Bullet, 
I uh, get a plus one plus one. All right, let's try that. We haven't been able to really make use of blitz. Holding over. It's a four four because. You got a plus one, plus one, thanks to Clean. Okay, Barbarian class will come into play when um, when he rolls the dice. I kind of want a blocker Okay, because he rolled the dice and he gives his ogre menace, so I can't block as I only have one creature. So he has one treasure left and he uses it to cast the ghoul. Wow. Okay. Alright, so I have to attack. And I have 5 mana, so I can either cast You Hear Something on Watch or Potion of Healing. So. I think I will attack both. And then after that I can either cast Roper or Druid as a blocker and cast Potion of Healing. So I want to get rid of um, at least one of his creatures, maybe. Okay, we could have sacrificed the ghast, I guess. So if he attacks with the ogre, I can still block with two creatures. Wow, great two treasure tokens. But is he dead on the way back? Do I have to block? 
Oh, I do. So if I have to block, then... I might as well double block the ogre. He can kill one of my... creatures. Okay. Yeah, I think he realized he committed too much... too many creatures... to attack. Because if... Even if I don't block, I take 9. Oh, I have to block. Okay, I, I use a golem and a roper to block 1. I, 1 dies. So next turn he has 1 blocker. I can swing in with 3 creatures, maybe? You'll have to use Kalein to uh, block. And then I'll use the pit trap to kill off the ogre. Yep. Okay, so I took out one of the bullets because I felt it wasn't doing very much, especially since it only triggers on my end step, which I didn't notice before. And I put in Druid class because on even on level 1, when a land enters the battlefield, I gain 1 life. So even if I leave it at level 1, that's a great ability to trigger my life gain uh, creatures, such as the Lurking Roper and Trailer Sara which in previous games I was finding it very difficult to get them to untap or to get plus one plus one. So now hopefully this will be better. Alright, up against Phil the Viking. Alright Phil. Ooh, I go first and I don't have any forests. I have lots of green cards. Might have to mulligan this. I should have taken out the Eye of Vecna actually. It hasn't been very good. Alright, I'll mulligan this. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna get rid of the Eye, I guess. Hasn't been very good. So we've we cast Trillisara on turn two. We still need to gain some life after that. Not sure how, because we're drawing lots of lands. Seems like we're either drawing too few or too many lands. It's really annoying. Black red again. And there's the ghoul. I'm wondering if I should offer a trade for him. But that ghoul is so... Uh, it isn't very good. That ghoul is just a common, so I'm sure he has more than one. And I will be trading my only a copy of Trillisara for the ghoul. I don't think I want to do that. Oh, I just got two cards. Wow. Um, I guess the forest and the dragon. Let's keep the planes up. Oh, we have two lands. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna swing in. If the Trillisara dies, doesn't matter. It doesn't die, okay. Then I'll just put down my bullet. Ooh, Renty Fang Blade. There's Death Touch, and when it does combat damage to me, it adventures into the dungeon. Oh, it's Haste! Hmm. Interesting. I 
I'm sure he's going to attack, right? Yeah. Can I block it? Can't be blocked by walls, but I can still kill it off like that. Alright, I'm going to create a treasure and venture and gain one life. Ooh, I don't need the planes. Alright, that was a good scry. Nice! Whew. That was tough. Getting up to two wins. Okay, that was quite a rocky round in premier draft of adventures in the forgotten realms we had a very shaky start um could have won a couple of games but we lost because of bad decisions and sometimes the cuts or the lands just didn't flow well for us but luckily we managed to get a couple of wins at the end and hopefully we can go on to get three or four wins in this event before we crash out so thanks for watching, uh, please remember to subscribe, it will help us a lot and don't forget we have the lucky draw for the arena pack codes coming up next week. Okay, so take care of yourself and goodbye.